down $59 per month. No more climbing a ladder, putting your hands in that gunk to clean out the gutters. You get a bonus, a $200 Visa gift card with purchase. And if you call during this program, we have a nice gift for you. A $50 restaurant.com gift card with your complimentary in-home estimate. Ask about Referray. Tell a friend about LeafGuard. You get cash back. Tell enough friends you could get free gutters. Remember, LeafGuard now, 59 down, 59 a month. Call for these special savings. She has been a steady and groundbreaking leader of our King 5 family for the past 36 years. Next month on Friday, June 14th, Lori Matsukawa signs off and heads into retirement. Her incredible career reporting award-winning stories of the people here in the Pacific Northwest has taken her around the globe. Lori joins me now to reflect on all of this, and you are working you know, while we're doing right. all these extra things with you, you've got your phone, got my phone and your key my card and your key media. card. <laughs> in case you I'm need to jet out of right here. after this interview, I'm going to jet upstairs <laughs> and start writing. <laughs> thank you for coming in, though, and letting us um, pay tribute to you, first of oh, all, thanks. and congratulate you and just find out what's next. But let's start with maybe people who haven't lived here for all of this time, might not know how you started in the business. Talk to us about that. Uh, originally, when I was in um, high school, I thought I would be a piano teacher. And so um, I said, I have to go to college and was looking around for college scholarships. And the craziest thing happened. A friend said, you might want to enter this contest. It's Miss Teenage America. You get a $10,000 scholarship. And the best thing is you don't have to wear a bathing suit. <laughs> so you might have a chance. <laughs> so I entered this contest. Look at and, this. Oh, my gosh. I win the contest. Yeah. So for my senior year in high school, I'm spending half the time going to school, half the time traveling, got into Stanford University, and here I am on my little audition tape in San Francisco, and I started thinking, you know, everywhere I traveled as Miss Teenage America, I was interviewed by a journalist. Maybe I don't want to be a piano teacher. Maybe, Maybe I want to be a journalist. I'm so glad you decided to <laughs> do that. I'm so glad. Um, what are some of the more memorable stories as you're kind of, you, you know, you probably don't look back on this time the way the rest of us perceive you. But when you look back on it, what do you find most memorable? Well, w the most personally memorable story was pulling nine G's in an F-16. Mm, yeah. That really <laughs> rocked, and I didn't throw up or anything. That's so good. Right? That's so good. And you didn't have a G suit on, I right? did have a G you suit. Did. Okay. So that right. helped. The, but um, anyway, that's, that's pretty good. But I think as a highlight, it's got to be following then-Governor Gary Locke to his first trade mission to China. Right. It was 10 days of being on the road, following him. And during the day, we followed him. During the evenings, Dave Wyke, my photographer, and I had to do the writing and the editing. And we were feeding back these stories to uh, Seattle. It was grueling, but what an but adventure. Amazing. Because he went to the Great Wall. He went to Hong Kong. He went to his, uh, his ancestral village, where mm -hmm. he was a total, I mean, the whole tour, he was a total rock star. And I think that was the first time we back here really saw what his impression was in China, what he had done uh, in terms of visibility in China. And that's that was very, very meaningful for our audience and for people here. Let's talk about the Olympics. You got to oh, do yes. that. That was thrilling because it was Apollo Ono's first Olympics, mm -hmm. the 2002 Salt Lake City Olympics. It was just so much fun. And then at the 2010 one, you can see this photo with the torch. I was chosen to run with the Olympic torch for the 2010 what is Olympics. That like? It's so exhilarating because they pick people who have. Uh, overcome many uh, challenges or people who are continuing to help people who are overcoming challenges. So it was a real honor. And my uh, husband and son were there along the route. We were running through the streets of Tacoma. <laughs> it was so thrilling. And and that and then the first, going back to the first Olympics with Apollo Ono, we didn't know that he was going to be the, the, the breakout star, star that he yeah. became. And he was. And that yeah. meant so much again to us. You also um, you won an Emmy last year. That's My important. first one in 40 years. It, which is weird, right? <laughs> I mean, that's just so strange um, because you've deserved a dozen. Tell us about what you won for last oh year. Goodness. I was and very thrilled that, oh, thank you. I was so thrilled because this was a meaningful project of mine. I really wanted to do a definitive description of the history of Japanese American incarceration during mm -hmm. World War II. And so this was for five days. We did a, a story each day which included the entire arc, not just the fact that they were incarcerated, but what happened to Japanese Americans after they came right. back? How did they get their, their um, 
their grievance redressed, and then finally, what young, um, young uh, citizens today are doing about retelling the story, mm -hmm. remembering the history so that it doesn't happen again in the arts. You have been very active in the Asian American Journalists Association and breaking ground for people in this business and then mentoring others as they come up. Tell me a bit about how that felt for you as it was happening. When I remember when I first decided to go into journalism, it was my print uh, managing editor at the Honolulu Advertiser who said, you know, you might think of, uh, have you ever thought of being a television journalist? They're hiring women nowadays. <laughs> And that was kind of an eye-opener for me. You're right, there aren't enough women on TV. And so it was motivation to get into the right. business. And then uh, women of color, just journalists of color in general. So um, it's a brave thing to do, an important thing to do, to go someplace where people haven't necessarily shown you the way. You're, you're blazing right. your own trail. Right, and so we, we said, you know, we've got to prime the pump. We've got to get young journalists of color, you know, in, interested in the career, and then we want to get them to college, stay in college, right. get into the business, and move when up. they get in, we have to help them move up. And the ultimate goal was to get, you know, journalists of color to become managers in the industry. And we're still working towards and that. And we're still working toward it, but we are blessed because we have more women now, we have more women of color, and it's just very exciting. That is, um, that is due to people like you. So <laughs> we're, you know, I'm grateful to you. I think we all are because we know that journalism is better and the world is better when everybody's voice is part of what's going on. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? I mean, how did you make this decision and, and what is the next chapter, do you think? Margaret, don't you think 36 years <laughs> is, <laughs> Is a time well, to call it a career? <laughs> yes, I've thought that about myself sometimes as well, so I'm very interested because I may um, I may need to give this some thought myself. I know. If it looks like everybody else is, Dennis Bounds, all the people who've gone on to just it, kill retirement, they're oh, doing they so love well. It. They're having so much fun. Do you have anything in particular you want to do? Well, my good friend Ron Sims, former King County mm -hmm. executive, said, uh, Lori, give yourself a full year of doing absolutely nothing. No commitments, no schedules other than your own. So I'm just going to give a year off a try. That sounds pretty good. I'm just going to see. Um, we have a lightning round. Let me just have 30 seconds to ask you a few lightning okay. round uh, questions. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Yes. I'm watching them uh, retrospectively. Okay. So I won't spoil I just, anything. Okay. I just started. Oh, oh, my, oh my goodness. But I oh read the goodness. book. But I um, read the book. Last book you read? Uh, I'm last book I'm currently reading called second uh, something called second mountain uh, it's about what to do uh, once you're done with your career oh, that's a good book for you to read right yes. now maybe something but what uh, what season is your favorite what season of oh of the of year weather. yes summer summer do you make your bed every morning I don't my husband does oh. Oh. <laughs> that's the best answer to that question <laughs> ever 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 what is something you want to do or a place you want to travel that you've never been or done before um, we're actually